Okay, next is uh, lap 8, which is uh, inertia in rotational motion. So this is long report. And for this lab, uh, our lab objectives is uh, students should be able to demonstrate and determine the moment of inertia as systems uh, inherit, pinpoint masses in a function of mass and radius, comparative investigations of solid and hollow cylinder. So our uh, experiment setup uh, include the apparatus of uh, rotation body, which is a hollow cylinder, and we have pulley drums over here. Okay, pulley drums uh, with diameter of 40 mm, and we have guide pulley, which is over here, the pulley that will guide our rope and our mass, and we have stand rod. Okay, we have a stand rod in our apparatus, and then we have bench clamp uh, number five. Uh, bench clamp is over here. Okay, this is our uh, bench clamp. And thin wall pipes, okay. Thin wall pipes is uh, 55 uh, cm length, okay, and, and diameter of 10 mm. And we have solid cylinder with weight of 0.9 kg and diameter of 120 mm. And we have a weight uh, which is 100 g, 200 g, and 400 g that will be used for this lab. For test one, we will measure the system inherent moment of inertia in which we have the apparatus of thin wall pipe. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we will fasten this uh, thin wall pipe until the middle, okay, the middle of the pipe, and then we just tie it properly. Okay, make sure it is really in the middle. Okay, and then we have a rope that we already tied over here. Okay, we have this rope and this guide pulley and also we already tied this 100 gram mass so what we're gonna do is we want to um, measure the time that will be taken for this mass uh, from one height to another height okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this thin wall pipe okay up to the height that we set okay Okay, and then for example, we set it over here at this height. Okay, and then we're going to take our stopwatch and then start to record the time that this will be fallen. Okay, so then we start and then we stop. So, and then uh, we're going to have to uh, write up our table one in which in table one, we have a result of mass, which is 100 gram, and the time taken for the mass from one height to another height. And that's all for the calculation for table one. Okay, now we are going for test two, in which uh, we have a pinpoint masses, uh, I, which is the moment of inertia, as a function of mass, in which we have these thin wall pipes that already been place over here okay so we still uh, place it in the center of the rotation angle okay and then we're going to place our two weights that have the same mass okay uh, so for this one we're going to use this um, 200 gram mass okay and we're going to place it in the radius of 200 mm okay so uh, from here to here should be 200 mm okay so we're going to place uh, one of the one of the mess and then tie in properly and then we're gonna take another one and then place it in here tie it properly and then we go, we will do the same things in which we have this rope and then it's tied to a hundred gram uh, weight okay and then uh, going to rotate this up to the height that we set okay for example over here and then we take our stopwatch and then start until it goes down to the height that we set
Okay, and this uh, mass will be changed uh, to another mass, and we're going to repeat the uh, measurement of the time three times to reduce the error. And all the results uh, will be calculated uh, to get the inherent moment of inertia formula. And then we will write it in table 2, which is the results for test 2 for different mass and time for uh, specific height. Okay, that is for test 2. Then for test 3, in which uh, we have a similar setup, this is pinpoint masses. Uh, we will measure moment of inertia as a function of radius. Okay, so what we're going to have here is we're going to use a weight of 400 gram mass. Okay, both are 400 gram mass. And then we're going to measure the time uh, for the weight to be fallen uh, with different radius. Okay, the first radius uh, that we will take is 0 0.055 meter. And then we're going to change uh, to 0 0.095 meter. And the last one is 0 0.245 meter radius. And then when we get the results of different radius, and then we will write it in table 3, and then calculate for moment of inertia I using the formula. Okay, now we are in test 4. Okay, test 4, we're going to have a hollow cylinder and also solid cylinder. Okay, so the same things that we're going to have to measure, which is the moment of inertia. So first, we take this uh, hollow cylinder, okay, and then we put it over here in the middle, and then we tie it properly. Okay, and then uh, our weight is here, 100 gram. And then we're going to do the same things and then uh, set our height and then take our time where the mass will be fallen to the set time. Okay, once we finish this, okay, we're going to put it in our uh, table 4, which is results for test 4. And then we're going to change to our solid cylinder. Okay, this one. Okay, we place it over here and we do the same procedure. So that's all for test 4. Thank you.